Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video for the new Boston. Now in this we've already um, looked at, or within PHP My Admin, we've already looked at creating things, deleting things, but I'm going to use PHP Admin to just demonstra demonstrate some simple SQL queries, just so we understand the basic concept of queries, how they work and how they retrieve values, and also how to structure them because that's very important. The minute we structure it slightly wrong, um, we won't be will be returned an error. We'll have an error in our syntax. So we've got a tab up here that I've just clicked called SQL. Now PHP My Admin will also automatically put in uh, this little query from you: select star from users where one. And that's because we're on the browse tab here. By clicking on this, we're doing exactly the same as what we're doing on the browse tab. It will return everything from uh, this table. There's no limits to this at all. It's just select everything meaning star from the table users and where one is irrelevant we can um, take this out so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click go and you can see that this has uh, showing rows 0 to 1 and 2 total query took an, an amount of seconds and um, it's shown our query here uh, with this limit on the end, which I'll explain soon, but we've been uh, we've retrieved exactly the same data as if we were to click browse. So uh, this SQL um, this um, SQL query um, for us at the moment is uh, useless inside PHP My Admin, but when we're working within PHP, we might want to select everything from the database. However, um, some advice for you is to not to use select star because what you're doing is when you're selecting data from a database you rarely will need all of it um, I could just say select username password for example if I was logging my user in I'm not going to need to uh, access their username or password uh, their first name or last name to log them in because this is a relevant login details we just need the username and password so if we were to just say select username and then comma password now bear in mind these have to um, exactly match your field names and as with this here you can enclose them um, in either uh, semicolons or this uh, slanted uh, not a semicolon sorry uh, a single quotation mark or this slanted um, apostrophe so we're using an apostrophe here um, in our username and password so now let's click go and see what happens so what we've done is we've returned a query but this time we've only selected a certain amount of data we want to be retrieved so we've automatically um, cut time out of our query you can see here it says seven seconds however if we were to um, select everything oh no it's quicker but yeah okay so my point there was uh, rendered invalid but when we're working within PHP um, we're using lots of queries at once or um, we're using joins things like that which you'll learn later uh, we want to be selecting as quick as possible plus there's no need to select uh, some amounts of data so here I'm saying select username password from users now at the moment we've got this where one where one's just going to select everything so where one one's true so it, it's going to select everything but what we can do is we can specify where we want to select this data in specifics now remember we've got unique username fields um, a user unique ID fields sorry and here we've got ID of one and two for Alex and Billy and these are unique to this user so let's say I just wanted to return from ID 1. All I need to do is say where ID equals 1 and we can put that in uh, there as well. So where ID equals 1. So this is going to select the username and password from the users table which we're in where the ID is equal to 1. And We're not using a double equals here we're just using an equals because there's no assignment of data um, using this equal sign. So in PHP we use a double equals but in structured query language we use uh, an equal sign. So let's click go and see what happens. Um, I know column one. Right okay okay so let's go back to edit this. ID equals okay right okay no problem. So let's go back to SQL and we'll start again. So we want to select, I'll tell you why that error occurred in a minute, username, password from 
users where id equals one without our um, without our uh, apostrophes. So now we can click go, and uh, our query was successful this time. So you can see what we've done is we've only selected Alex and password. So we've selected the username and password where the ID is equal to 1. And if we look back here, you can see that the ID at 1 matches Alex, Alex's data. So it's quite simple to grab the data that you need. Okay, so let's return to SQL. This time what I want to do is I want to perform um, a query which is going to um, retrieve... Um, the username and part or the first name and the surname but with this time we're going to specify a username and a password now if the username and password don't match we're not going to return this data however if the part username and password do match we're going to return this data so this is essentially a login system and to do this we're going to say select um, first name last name remember this is the data we want to display when we've selected it um, and we don't need to put these in uh, in um, apostrophes, but it's probably good practice too. So first name, last name, from users, where, and this is where we specify the username and the password. Now if I was to say where username equals or is equal to Alex, and so we're using an, a, an, op, um, a, an operator here, we're saying and password, oh, not in capitals, equals Fred, for example, or password equals uh, P123 or P. So what we're doing here is we're selecting the first name and last name. Like I said, we're going to be returning this data um, from the users table where username is Alex and password equals P. Now, nowhere in this table does the username equal Alex and the password equal P. We've got username equals Alex and password equals password, and username Billy and pass e password equals pass123. So what we're actually doing with this query here is we're returning no rows. And you'll see that when I click go in a moment. Now, this has automatically told us that a username and a password combination is invalid therefore a login cannot be processed so let's click go okay so we've got unknown column last name okay surname so this corrected query should now return oh username equals alex password equals p Okay, let's try put that in uh, there. Click go. Okay, so my my SQL. So I've used um, I've used uh, apostrophes for this and just uh, single quotation marks for the actual data itself. So my SQL returned an empty result set, i.e., zero rows. So this query here that we've selected. Alex um, is for the username and P for the password has returned no data. Therefore, the username may exist, but the password might be wrong. So, in general, we have a username and password combination error. So, now what happens if we run the query with the correct data in? So, you can see that my username is Alex here, my password is password. So, let's run this and see what happens. <laughs> 